AJ Styles is currently set to compete in pro wrestling NOAs while still under a WWE contract. His teammate in the OC, Luke Gallows, commended Triple H, as this would not have been possible under the previous regime. The Phenomenal One returned to Japan to take on wrestling veteran Naomichi Marafuji in a singles match at an upcoming event. He's not the first WWE star to compete in pro wrestling Nanoa, as Shinsuke Nakamura faced the Great Muta last year in January. Additionally, Damaged CTR of L member Iwo Sky will wrestle Yutami Hide Ashishida under the Marigold banner this week. Speaking to pro wrestling Noa, Luke Gallows shared that AJ Styles' match with Naomichi Marufuji would have never happened a few years ago under the previous administration, and he tipped his hat off to Triple H for making the match possible. I think that we kind of have to tip our hat to the new WGV, to the vision of Triple H. Just a couple of short years ago, this match would never happen. There would be no chance for pro wrestling NOAH and WWE to come together, put two iconic superstars in a pro wrestling NOAH ring in Japan, he said. Unfathomable, unheard of. Hats off to both companies for coming together because this is truly a dream match for not only American fans, but Japanese fans as well, who AJ Styles has a legacy there, said Gallows. It's another one that's very important, and it's going to be important in the history of professional wrestling going forward. H slash T Fightful. AJ Styles hasn't been seen on WWE TV since Clash at the Castle. The phenomenal one failed to dethrone Cody Rhodes for the undisputed WWE Championship at Backlash in France. He wanted another title opportunity, but Adam Pearce refused. AJ then took matters into his own hands, faking his retirement and attacking Cody Rhodes so the latter would fight him again. This led to the two stars facing each other in an I Quit match at Clash at the Castle in Scotland. Cody Rhodes won the bout after forcing AJ Styles to quit. The latter hasn't been seen on WWE TV since. It'll be interesting to see what he does next. In a dimly lit backstage area, the faint echo of cheers from the distant arena filtered through the concrete walls. AJ Styles, clad in his signature hoodie and gloves, sat facing the camera, his expression a mix of contemplation and determination. The interview setup was casual yet professional, a familiar scene for WWE fans accustomed to behind-the-scenes glimpses of their favorite superstars. So, AJ, the interviewer began, her voice steady with the weight of the topic at hand. It's been a few months since Triple H gave you the green light to compete in another promotion. How does it feel knowing you have that freedom? AJ leaned forward, his gaze fixed somewhere beyond the camera, as if navigating the complexities of his thoughts before articulating his response. Honestly, it's a game changer. He admitted, his voice a low rasp that hinted at years of gravelly promos and countless battles in the squared circle. Triple H, he's always been about pushing boundaries, about evolving this business. When he approached me with the idea of stepping outside the WDE bubble now and then, it was like a breath of fresh air. The interviewer nodded, her expression a blend of curiosity and professional detachment. And how do you think this impacts your career moving forward? AJ's lips curved into a half-smile, a rare glimpse of vulnerability amid his stoic demeanor. It's all about perspective, right? For years, WWE has been my home, my stage. But being able to step into other rings, to test myself against different styles, different talents, it's invigorating. It keeps me sharp hungry. He paused, running a hand through his hair, the well-worn gloves adding a tactile element to his introspection. And I think it's good for the industry as a whole. Fans get dream matches they never thought possible. Wrestlers get to collaborate in ways that only make us better. Triple H saw that potential, and he's letting us explore it. The interviewer leaned forward slightly, her eyes reflecting the soft glow of the lighting rig above. Some might say this decision opens the door to more competitive crossover opportunities. How do you respond to critics who fear it could dilute the exclusivity of WWE? AJ's gaze sharpened a spark of passion igniting behind his blue eyes. I get it. Tradition matters. WWE has built its legacy on exclusivity, on being the pinnacle, 
but times change and so does the business. Look at the landscape now. Wrestling isn't just confined to one promotion. It's global, it's diverse. Fans want to see matchups that transcend brand loyalty. And as performers, we thrive on pushing boundaries.